Brainiacs, what if we told you the highlight of this winter doesn't have to be a Starbucks holiday cup or thick woolly socks? It's human hibernation in all its glory. But on top of the unapologetic weight gain and all the sleep that you have only ever dreamt about, we're paying you up to $19,000. Yeah, you heard us. Almost 20 Gs to lie horizontally while you play video games, stream TV shows, and catch up on all the podcasts for two months to be exact. But before you go quitting your day job, you should watch until the end of this video to know exactly what happens to humans who go into full hibernation mode. Spoiler alert, we don't do it as well as some other furry animals. In today's video, we talk about what happens to your body when you go into human burrito mode full time. Plus, we discuss hibernation, a study done by NASA, and even a frozen body that rose from the dead. In the animal world, hibernation is more than a clever way to evade the cold temperatures and shorter days. Aside from hiding from predators and the rough elements, animals' metabolisms will slow to less than a quarter of their normal state. Interestingly, their heartbeat gradually beats slower and slower as the days go by to a few times per minute for up to months at a time. While many people think that hibernation is really just deep sleep, it's actually a way to conserve energy and adapt to the limited resources found in barren landscapes affected by below zero conditions. This is why animals in zoos don't hibernate. The plentiful food, water, and shelter signals to the body that hibernation is not necessary necessary in these cases. For years, scientists have been interested in the possibility of human hibernation. In one sense, they inferred that it could be a scene straight out of a sci-fi movie where a frozen human being wakes up years later in the future with their youthful body. A version of human hibernation has been used in modern medicine. Like with the Chinese woman who was kept chilled for two weeks to allow her brain to heal from a traumatic injury. Known as therapeutic hypothermia, this form of hibernation allowed her to recover and return to daily life. However, However, it remains unclear how safe the technique actually is. But these days, scientists are looking into human hibernation for reasons other than modern medicine. They're doing it for space travel. Take the movie Passengers. The space traveler in the film awakens from a 120-year journey to another planet through a human hibernation technique. Now, although this isn't exactly a reality just yet, labs, including NASA's very own, have invested money, time, and human subjects to the science of human hibernation for the sake of long space flights. In the artificial gravity bed study, NASA paid 12 men and 12 women upwards of $19,000 to stay in angled downward beds to study the effects of lengthy space travel. At a slight six degree angle, each subject was meant to enjoy meals and leisure pursuits lying down while the scientists measured their weight, blood pressure, muscle mass, and bone density over the course of 89 days. In that time, they'd have to watch movies, play video games, surf the web, and even go to the bathroom while laying down, all for the sake of science and potentially building a space travel hibernator for a long mission to Mars. Although the supposed flight time would only last a few months, NASA concluded that putting humans into space in a hibernation state could cut down on food and even habitat size. Not to mention, humans would not even have to live through some of the serious side effects of low gravity. So what happened to the men and women who ended their days horizontal? Records show that for some of them, their heart rate shot up to 150 beats per minute immediately after standing up. Not to mention, the poor folks couldn't even stay upright. But if the $19,000 is still enticing to you, here are some other reasons why scientists would not recommend that you spend your days on end glued to your bed. First and foremost, bed sores. You get these suckers from lying down for way too long and preventing regular blood flow to circulate in your body, especially in your tailbone, shoulders, and hips. Reportedly, after 60 days of laying down, your body would quickly become floppy and useless as your muscles would lose 10 to 15% of their strength every week. And that's when you're relatively active. Other symptoms of self-induced human hibernation are decreased endurance, loss of muscle mass and bone density, and increased increased resting heart rate and a decrease in blood volume. So maybe staying in bed for 60 days straight isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Turns out there are no official stats for someone staying in bed for all 365, simply because it hasn't been trialed and tried, and perhaps never should be. It's safe to say that even just after two months in bed, our inanimate bodies would be considered absolutely useless, so we don't even want to know what it'd be like spending a whole year withering away. So we wouldn't recommend any extended periods of bed rest unless otherwise prescribed, but if for whatever reason you can't get up and at them, we have plenty of videos to keep you and your brain updated on all the best developments in science. See you later, Brainiacs.